An emotional Charlotte Crosby denies Joshua Ritchie's shocking claims that she beat him on several occasions during their ill-fated romance as she engages in a public spat. Hello there, it's Nicole here. Welcome back to DTN News. So Charlotte Crosby has firmly denied her ex Joshua Ritchie's shocking claims that she physically attacked him during their ill-fated two-year romance. The former lovebirds took their disagreement to Instagram on Saturday after Charlotte, 29, shared a cryptic post accusing her ex of taking money from her, to which Love Island star Joshua, 25, quickly claimed he was the target of Charlotte's messages before going on to levels of shocking allegations of domestic violence, which the on-time Geordie Chill star regularly denied in an emotional video she shared online. The reality star told her 7.2 million followers, I'm really upset because it's come to this, but I'm honestly not being accused that things are not true. I have sat here thinking of how to respond, but actually I realise if you do argue with clowns, you're only joining the circus yourself. I'm not going to drag anyone through the trash or try to expose anyone. The furious exchange of words kicked off between the pair after Charlotte claimed that she was paying off somebody else's debt and that she had paid for Josh on numerous occasions throughout their relationship. However, Josh put on his own video insisting that the money was a bond on their house they'd been sharing, saying that the shares she owed was £350. During his lengthy video post, he then went on to make claims of having endured domestic violence at Charlotte's hands. This is what Josh had to say during the lengthy Instagram post here. What's happening, guys? Let's just talk about this situation. About me being in debt, apparently. I've never known for me to be in debt. Something new. Um, not only that, I've never known of anyone paying for me. I don't think that that is the case. And I think we both know that that isn't the case. I paid for myself. I pay my own ways. And if anything... You used to do the good trick saying, oh, I've left my purse at home. Oh, I've lost my bank card. Oh, I've done this. Oh, I've done that. So let's just start off by that. Just to clarify this apparent debt that this certain somebody is saying that I owe, it's a bond from a house that we shared together. And it's only 700 quid. I would have took it halfway down the middle and both gone our separate ways but this certain somebody feels the need to take it to Instagram and tell everybody it's 350 quid get over it it's fucking boring but now I'm going to get into detail I'm going to tell you everything about it the holes in the wall are from when you drag my walking wardrobe down and you're trying to cut my clothes up not only that when you put my phone through a wall and not only that when you try throwing that trophy off my head and it went through the wall. So that is all the holes in the wall. Not only that, we all know that what this certain somebody is like. It's not the first time they've done it. It's not the second time they've done it. It's not the third, it's not the fourth. It's probably about the fifth time they've done it. Now me personally, I'm not, I'm not a verbal punch bag and I'm not someone who will beat me up. I'm not a punch bag. I'll just get rid of them like I did. Not only that, this person is still going on six months later. They need to get over it. Need to get over it. I got out of this domestic relationship because I didn't want to be in it no more. And now I'm the one who's getting shit for it. I'm sick of holding my tongue. So now I'm just going to say fucking everything. So I think the first time it actually happened, this domestic violence, was when we were on holiday, actually. And I didn't say happy birthday to this certain someone at 12 o'clock. Even though prior to it, I said it about six times. And you know what? The second time is when they chase me around, I like villa kind of thing in Crete with a bell because I wanted to go on a lad's golfing holiday. A lad's golfing holiday. They went mad. Wow. The third time is was not, not that long ago actually. Um, when they come in after a night out, when I wasn't with them, and she, there was um, there was off the nut too much, a bit paranoid, got in a bit late, um, even though I wasn't with them, and 
tried beating me up when I was asleep. And that is when all the holes happened in the house. The one thing is, yeah, I don't like lies being told about me. I don't like people outing me. And I don't like people when they get it. Not only that, they were that paranoid and that much of, of a freak, I've still actually got all the messages on my phone of the abuse that I was getting. So I think they just need to relax, sit down, shut the fuck up before more shit starts coming on. Because we all know how much of a psycho you are. You are fucked in the head. Fucked in the head. And I hope everyone realises now, it's not me that you tried doing it to, you tried doing it to your other ex, you tried doing it to your other ex before that. Like, you're a fucking loon. An absolute loon. And you try and wreck everything that everyone's got. So right now, I'm not keeping my mouth shut. If you want to carry on, I will carry on. But for now, I'm just going on about on a walk. So bye-bye, motherfuckers. My advice to you would be stay off that. Stay off the cat and the and the bing and that. Get your head a bit sorted. Do a bit of counselling. Go and get yourself checked out a bit. And then you might come back a better person. Because the person that I was that I was with is a fucking devil. And not only that, I got a load of trolling off off them and the friends and the family. And we don't want to start speaking about families now, do we? Because we know what will happen if we start speaking about families and being in debt. Anyway, I'll leave it as that. I'm going for a walk, putting a bit of her into my lungs. Much love, and I hope everyone has a good day. Peace. Now, Charlotte has removed the videos before we could get a copy, so we cannot include her um, response into the video. But as you saw just now, we did read some of it out. I mean, this was absolutely shocking when we've seen this unfold on Saturday. We really hope that sort of they can come to some moral ground and we have to see what happens in this. But let us know what you think of this story in the comments section below this video. And obviously, when we know any more, we'll update you. That's it for the moment, guys. Please don't forget to stay well. And I'm going to see you right back here in the next update. See you later. Bye-bye.